5th of June last year. We came home and, uh, yeah, got in, took her out, and I lay down and fell asleep. His life, day-to-day -day life, revolves around what he's doing with Blaze, when he walks her, where he takes her, her, you know, her food. She's what gets him up in the morning. There was a fire beside the bed. And I, I'm shouting Blaze. So Blaze obviously involved in, in the house fire. And I went to go back in and they restrained me, stopped me from going in. The fire brigade came and um, they rescued her. Blaze got taken out by the fire crew and they originally thought that she might even be dead. Her body was completely limp. The fire officer had her cradled in his arms and her head was just lopsided as if she was dead. She was rushed straight to an emergency vet at the time, one that was very close and on hand, then transferred to us a couple of days later. Her injuries were extremely extensive. She had horrendous burns. Half her body was just absolutely red raw. So this required an awful lot of attention, dressing changes, keeping the wounds clean. She means the world. She was, um, she's been sort of my baby, my companion and um, literally the love of my life. She was, she was just, um, oh, excuse me. It's more than just having a dog. He is her best friend and vice versa. The PDSA, well, they, they were just, they were marvelous. They, I, I don't know what I would have done if they hadn't been there. So the PDSA weren't around. Mr Brock being on an extremely limited income would have had an awful situation to face. I think realistically Blaze may not be here today. What that would have done to Mr Brock, I can only imagine, would have made the situation. He's just lost his house, he loses his dog as well. A horrendous situation to be in. If it had to go, I, I'm not a wealthy man. I, I, I'm a pensioner. Um, but I would have had to beg, borrow to, to, um, to get the treatment that the dog needed. What they did for her was, I, I, I could never repay them. Never. The PDSA Free Will Scheme is active in your area now and a selection of solicitors are waiting to take your call. It's simple and straightforward, will give you peace of mind and let our work with vulnerable pets and people continue in your community.